Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Happy Thirsty Thursday. Yes, and first day of Hanukkah. Yeah, here's your unemployment update for Thursday, December 10th, 2020. Yeah, you get to celebrate for eight days. Come on now, get with the program. You need all the holidays in your life. Find out the latest details on the unemployment situation in this week's jobs report. The difference between stimulus and disaster relief funds. People are confused like, Andrew, excuse me, uh, stimulus or disaster relief? You say both. We're going to cover that. And how leading politicians are pushing for more extended enhanced unemployment benefits to hopefully bridge, I hope, the gap over this upcoming cash cliff, which is coming in weeks after this. For the best news and information to master and dominate and crush your money, business, and life, stay tuned to this channel. Remember, when we hit 150,000 subscribers with your support, with your love, and this community, we're going to give away 1500 bucks. All you have to do is subscribe, like, and comment. Hit the bell notification, too, so you get notified. But yeah, subscribe, like, and comment. Or just comment. Whatever you want. Just have fun with the channel. Participate. Don't just watch. Also, go down below. Hit your Weeble stock. The link down below. You can get four stocks. Two could be valued up to $1,600. You just open up an account. Fund it with $100. It's awesome. Make sure you check it out. Even if you don't get it, just check it. And thanks again to all my Patreons. But first, it's Thursday, which means that it's time to talk about the weekly jobs report from our friends, not neighbors, they're nowhere close to us, over at the Department of Labor. Yes, this week's report shows some not so great news from the economy. It's an honest look at what's really going down or not going down right now in our economy as the actual unemployment figures were higher, which is not good, than last week. They're up a lot. And underperforming the estimates of the Dow Jones economists, who say usually they're wrong, but not by this much. This week's report shows that 853,000 Americans filed their first time unemployment claims. Yes, 853,000 of your neighbors Friends, moms, dads, relatives, cousins, Kevin, nephews. Yes, they walked on, they went online and they filed for the first time. That ain't cool. That's not cool. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit, which is significantly higher than the previous week, which was 716,000 initial claims. Again, way too many there too. Now we say these numbers like, eh, you know, 700,000. We would be in shock a year from now, a year ago. Not from now. Hopefully, that, hopefully we don't, we're not talking about this a year from now. These numbers are also way higher than the 730,000 initial claims predicted by those economists and is, high, is a highest amount of initial claims since September. So this is the wrong direction. Yes, it's the wrong direction. It's backwards. Dan Zio. You see, I, I said that fast, right? It's Z-H-A-O. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have fun with that. Senior economist at Glassdoor stated, quote, the surge in initial claims is especially concerning when claims are still above levels near the peak of the Great Recession. Yes, 2008, when everything fell apart, we're, we're in that like depression numbers. This is scary. I hope that Congress can listen to the economists and go and forget about themselves for just 30 seconds, maybe, and go, wait a minute, people are not getting paid. People are filing unemployment. People are losing their homes. They're losing their cars. They're losing their relationships. They're losing stuff they shouldn't be for no fault of their own. Pay attention. Help them. You guys are getting paid. You're about to pay yourself again in another bill. This is ridiculous. Pass more extended enhanced unemployment benefits before it's too late for millions of Americans. We're talking like 21 days, kaput. And for some people, we're talking about 17 days away from a cash cliff where they are completely cut off, completely. Even if they do file, they're cut off. Meanwhile, a recent report from the, from the state outlines the differences between stimulus and disaster relief funds. This is how they say it and how these government funds initiatives impact the nation. How 
does this that they create and put through, what happens to our nation when they put them through? The article states, quote, the point of stimulus spending is to jolt the economy back into action after it's stalled out for one reason or another. The point of relief is just to protect people from the worst aspects of the downturn. So what does that mean? Uh, the patient fell on the floor and the heart stopped. Oh, I think we'll take some jumper cables and we'll just jump him, right? To get his heart going. Oh, okay. The other is some pain reliever, right? Like we're going to give you some painkillers to make sure that you don't lose all your stuff. Um, we'll give you something for the pain. So one puts, makes the patient alive again and the heart beating. The other is relief, right? You get some relief. You get it? Got that? So jumper cables. Yeah, that's, uh, that's stimulus, right? Stimulating the economy. Just kind of give you some analogies. It continues, quote, given the circumstances, beefing up unemployment insurance is clearly more urgent than spending a modest round of checks, right? So it doesn't, it just handles the band-aid. We need longer term relief. Yeah, I get the stimulus is a jolt to the economy, but sometimes that only lingers for a couple of weeks. That's it, or a week. It doesn't create the relief needed by people when, that can't go back to work. And right now, yeah, states shutting down, people can't go to work. Or restrictions that keep them from being able to work. Right? Senator Mitt Romney echoed these thoughts, stating, the economy is showing good signs of life, so we're not looking for a stimulus. We're looking for helping people in need. If you are, I, I agree with him. Yes, we have a heartbeat. Barely. We need relief so that we can handle the pain we're going through right now. While I do agree with the need of the stimulus funds eventually, disaster relief money is desperately needed right now for the economy to bounce back and to help millions of Americans feel financially secure, which is another thing as we head into the new year. If people don't feel secure, they don't spend money. If they don't spend money, they don't pay bills. If bills don't get paid, banks and other people have problems too. And finally, Senator Joe Manchin, not to be confused with Mnuchin, right? Joe Manchin, a senator, right, for, um, I'm not sure the state, an important member of the Problem Solvers Caucus, though, and a proponent of the $908 billion stimulus package, stated the urgency getting, getting necessary disaster relief funds to the millions of Americans. Now you'll be able to say at cocktail parties, which you can't go to right now, that you know the difference between relief and stimulus. Like, how useful is that, <laughs> right? He stated, quote, this is emergency to get us through the first quarter, which will be the most difficult quarter that we've ever had, right? How's the sound of that coming from a senator? Manchin continued, quote, we finally have moved everybody to say it, takes 900 billion to get us through the most challenging times. So yes, we moved past the 500 billion that MIA Mitch was talking about. I don't know what, what, what he's talking about, right? He continued, quote, this is not an all, a do all, end all. Joe Biden says this is a down payment. He, content, he comes in as our president in January, January 20th. He'll put basically another package to take us through the rest of this mess that we have. And the reality is, is we st still need the Senate to agree. So um, I would like everything now, please. I'm just saying, I, I don't wanna wait for Joe. Uh, if you guys are listening, just pass it all stimulus for the stimulus to jolt the economy again and get it moving. Walmart needs it, Starmark, Star, I mean, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Starbucks needs it. And uh, you know, they, they're, they're struggling. I guess. The bipartisan stimulus package gained it in support both the de Democrats and the Republicans. I hope that this new bill, though, can be approved before Congress leaves for the holiday break next week. I think they'll have a tough time getting out of Washington. I'm just saying. That's, how, do you, how do you leave Washington without a bill passed? And you, they're going to pass a bill for themselves, the continuing resolution. I think it's going to be next to impossible not to pass something for us little people that don't have the private jets. If you still haven't applied for the unemployment assistance, make sure you do yourself a favor and apply today. Go to the PUA or the UI, different websites a lot of times, upload your employment history, make sure you have clear pictures of your ID, 
your clear pictures of your social, whatever they ask for, make sure it's clear and make sure you pay attention to the emails that you get from them so you don't miss a beat. Tell them that you've been out of work due to this virus, this crazy crap that's going on. You're in the CARES Act. They didn't forget about you. Be honest. Tell the truth. You could receive a backdated check. People do it every day. $20,000 comes wired into their account. It's absolutely fabulous. People have I've become their new best friend because of it. They're like, Andrew, you're my new best friend. Why? I just got 20 grand. I'm like, oh, I guess, yeah, I'd be good best friends with a guy like that. To all you gig workers, self-employed, independent contractors, 1099 side hustlers, volunteers or freelancer, time is running out to get these PUA benefits. So don't miss out on your chance to receive these amazing government unemployment benefits, which expire December 31st. Literally, we got weeks away. You will miss out on these funds if you don't do that. So please keep sharing your experience with the PUA. It matters here. You matter here. This community is awesome. I'm telling you, if you read the comments, you'll go, this is the best place to be on YouTube because you guys rock. Thank you so much. Please keep sharing your experience and what's happening in your state because I guarantee you, if you're in Nebraska or you're in New Jersey or you're in New York or California, when you say something in the comments, you enter to win 1500 bucks and and you support somebody in your local state because we're all over the world. That's how we roll. Thank you for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. I love you.